Hello and welcome to Shadow of Judgment, everybody. Last but not least is the Earth signs because for some reason it's just we gotta be last, I guess. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You guys are last on the list. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Shadow of Judgment is where we look at what's happening, what's getting started, what's coming to the surface, and who is doing what in the background, right? Right. All right, so Taurus, you are up first. Let's see what your shadow is. Oh, someone is wasting time. And someone is trying to hold their beastly nature back because someone is wasting time. Like, you see this lion? I will sick it on you if you don't hurry. Just five more minutes, you know. Someone's feeling like they're a bit broke as well. Ew. Oh dear, Taurus. Let's see. Boop. And boop. Okay, so, Taurus, here's what's going on in the background for you, right? Someone's wasting a lot of time or acting like a martyr when it comes to their happiness and their home. Like, these are two tens. This is complete, but it's just like someone's not acting on completing stuff. And they're kind of looking at their options down here as well. Now, this is because someone feels like they're destitute, they have a loss of identity, like some commitment just isn't starting, or the lack of commitment starting the show somewhere, and there's a new beginning after all this goes down the tube. This is like the options that they're looking at, right? Now, someone is holding back the urge to just take off and move forward with whatever it is that'll bring them a victory. This is like underlined in the background for the most part. This is like almost on, barely on the surface, like hell above the water. You know, it's just bubbling. It just keeps almost being brought up more and more. It's just like, if I wasn't with you, I wouldn't be this broke. I could go start something on my own without you and I'd be way more successful. That's almost like what you're thinking. I mean, you guys are like the um, producers. You guys do mainly work um, for yourselves. So I can see you guys kind of doing this. All right, that's your shadow of judgment, Taurus. We're going to move on to Virgo. Who, you know, yeah, okay. Nice seeing that, man. How are you doing? <laughs> All right, Virgo. We're going to see what's going on with you, right? Let's see what's going on in the background for you, all your shadows, dirty secrets, or whoever it is you're dealing with. Right? Right. Okay. Here we go. What's going on with Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, well, first off, someone's got a really bad attitude. <laughs> Alright. Someone feels cheated in some sort of established community they've been in. I don't know if this is you, Virgo, but it's definitely like someone in the energy of, um... Like, they're not as, um, productive as they make themselves out to be when it comes to this community situation. And it's kind of like it's pitting this person in a shitty mood, too. Like, you're the type that likes to work for others. Hmm. The person who might be, like, the authority figure or someone even above you... Might be a nasty, nasty trick. Now, you're kind of like one of the ghosts. <laughs> you got a bad attitude, you kind of want a ghost. But it's like, yeah, okay. Ah. I'm itch. Ooh, look at these counterparts.
Okay. One more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Things weren't fair. Completely unfair. It's like this person was completely ungrateful, and then once they they, they got established, they just one up to you. And it was just like, you know what? I really just don't fucking like you. You know? Okay. So t not Taurus. Virgo. We've got Taurus over here. We got Taurus down here as well. This could be somebody who is like the head figure somewhere. Family, community, friends, um, weird cult sessions, whatever you want to go with. Um, skating rink, um, synchronized dancing partners, if you will. Anything you want to be like. But somebody who's the head of this whole thing. And it's like they're up to no good but they put on this persona that they're such a sweetheart and that's completely unfair like they feel like they deserve more from this person even though they got a little bit of red in their pocket even though this person's giving to the other person i feel like they feel cheated and that's why they're up to no good but there's but they're still putting on this facade of like oh i'm still carrying and nurturing and over here it's like this king of swords is just all nasty attitude because a burden isn't being let go of nor is it being worked on um leading somebody to be very very arrogant and rude and ruthless with whatever rules and decisions they decide to take action on um someone feels conned out of the way and i think it's you virgo i think you feel conned because it's like you want a ghost um because you aren't having control in the situation that's what's really bothering this king of wands energy right here okay that's your shadow now you look at last but definitely not least the best of them all capricorn <laughs> because i say so that and i'm completely biased because i am one so you know good deal so caps let's see what going on in the background, the shadows, the scheming, the surfaces, the crazy tasty. Okay. What is your shadow of judgment, Capricorn? Oh, someone's in bitch mode. Okay, well that's a good start. Ew. It's like two people who are talking to each other. <laughs> is he looking away? He, yeah, he's not even, neither of these two are looking at each other. This one's just immature with her rule. This one's a control freak. What the fuck? Both fire signs could possibly be Sagittarius or Aries. And a lack of clarity in between them. Yeah, I kind of figured so. If they're just like standing there, like, no, I'm not fucking talking to you. Fuck you. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Ooh, I'm gonna pull one more because I can't. The rest of my cards are right there, though. Or more, okay, whatever. Oh, actually, this one can go on there just in case could be dealing with a water sign who just like is trying to turn her back on what it is that they spilled their milk over yeah Capricorn you might feel like there's no new beginning with the situation either or you don't want to start it because it's just it just not it's not good for you and it feels like whatever option it, it's like someone got what they wished for but behind the curtain, they still got a lot of things to choose between. Like, yeah, they got a Nine of Cups, but like the Hebrews is, they don't know what to pick from with these Seven of Cups. Because everything looks like advantageous and shit, right? And there's somebody here who thought they could sneak away, but now their brain is trapped in shit. So, I don't know what's up with that, man, but let's see. All right, Capricorns, your shadow of judgment. You got the Queen of Wands here. Bitch mode, right? Someone's bitchy. Someone's angry that I think 
they haven't gotten the end of a cycle yet, but it's coming. It's coming. The, don't worry. The end of the cycle's coming, but someone's definitely got an attitude when it comes to the cycle. But the Wheel of Fortune's turning and Justice is saying that's cool. Don't worry about it. Could be dealing with a Libra as well. Um, you, there is some sort of like not being sure about how to start a new beginning. Possibly going over towards this Libra or whatever. Or maybe like this Queen of Wands is mad because like she hasn't gotten the opportunity for a cycle with this Libra right here, but I'm not sure. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries you might be dealing with. Uh, da, 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 da. Now there's a Wheel of Fortune, but over here it's like a Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, who's like, I don't know, are you guys spying on like somebody or something? Like, someone, like, both of these, like, the Emperor and the Queen of Wands, both of them here are just not looking at each other, and it's like, the Emperor's like a control freak, <clears throat> and it's like, he's not looking over here, but he wants a new beginning with this door that's been closed, and it's like, someone's keeping an eye out for it, Capricorns. Hmm. You have to be dealing with someone who's, a, you must be dealing with someone who's a fire sign, but it's like, there's air here. So they might have air in their chart too. But I don't know. That is your shadow judgment, Capricorn. Thank you for watching my video, y'all. If you want personal reading, my email is down below. I don't charge, but I do have PayPal if you want to make a donation. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a good day. Love you. Bye-bye.